In this video, I'll show you how to set up controller ray interaction, how to set up ray interaction for 3D objects and UI canvas, how to set up masks so that you can interact with only certain objects. And finally, I'll show you how to hide and unhide the ray. All right, so here I have my Unity project open, which has been set up with the latest version of Meta XR Interaction SDK, which is version 64. And it has also been set up with all the player settings. You can also download this starter project from the GitHub link in the description below. Now, as you can see here, I've created a new scene called Ray Interaction, which has a main camera directional light the large room prefab and I've also added the skybox gradient to my scene. Now the first thing that we want to do here is to set this up for VR and to do that in your project window you need to search for OVR camera rig. Make sure the search is selected for all. Select the prefab and add it to your scene then go ahead and delete the main camera as well. Now this OVR comes with a tracking space so which means that uh, your headset will be tracked right now and your hands and controllers will also be tracked but you'll not be able to visualize them. So in order to see them in your project window, you need to search for OVR interaction, select the prefab and drag and drop it inside the OVR camera rig. Now this comes with the OVR HMD. Now we want to see the controllers. So for that, you need to search for OVR controller, select this prefab and drag and drop it inside the OVR interaction. So now if you save the scene and then make sure to connect your headset using link or air link and press play, you will be able to look around in your virtual environment and you'll be able to see your controllers as well. Now for any interaction to work, it needs an interactor and an interactable. Let's first add an interactor. And to do that in your project window, you need to search for Ray Interactor. Open the OVR controllers, left controller, right controller. Select the controller Ray Interactor and drag and drop it inside controller interactors and do the same for the right controller as well. Then select the controller interactor, add this to the best hover interactor group and once again over here and that's about it so now if we save the scene press play you will be able to see the ray interactors on both your controllers now to add the ray interactable there are two types first one is a ray interactable 3d object and the second one is a ray interactable ui canvas i'll show you how to set up both of them so to create a ray interactable 3d object right click and let's create a 3d object i'm going to select cube or you can import any object of your choice Let's scale it down to 0.1 in all the direction and bring it on top of the table here, something like this. And then right click on the cube, select interaction SDK, click on add ray grab interaction. This will open up a ray grab wizard, which will show you all the components that it needs. It already has a transform. It needs a rigid body, which you can add by clicking on fix all. So here, if you see the cube, a rigid body has been added and here is kinematics check and use gravity is turned off. It also show you if you need to add any optional components, which you don't need, then you can click on create. So this creates another game object called ISDK Ray Grab Interaction, which has all the components that it needs so that we can grab it using our controller. So now let's save the scene, press play and test it out. And here you can see that I'm able to interact with the cube using Ray Interaction. There's one important thing that you should know about Ray Interaction with 3D objects and that's the moment provider. Now the SDK comes with six different type of moment providers that decide how an interactable moves when you select it. By default, the ray grab interaction comes along with move from target provider. However, if you'd like to change it, then you can go ahead and remove this component and add the moment provider of your choice. For now, I'm going to select move towards target provider, select it and under the ray interactable optionals parameter, you will have to reference the moment provider. And now if you save your scene and test it and here you can see that on grabbing the cube moves towards your controller now to create a ray interactable ui canvas let's first create a canvas by selecting ui and canvas set the render mode to workspace reset its position to 0 1.5 and probably 0 0.65 set it with 200 and height to 50 and scale it all the way down to 0 0.01 in all the direction. Next, you can add a panel to this and also add all the UI elements that you want to have. Once you have your UI canvas ready, right click on it, select interaction SDK and click on add ray interaction to canvas. This will open up a ray canvas wizard and here you can see a warning saying that no pointable canvas module is found so you can add it by clicking on fix so if you go to the event system here you can see that it has added the pointable canvas module and then you can click on create so this will create an isdk ray interaction game object 
with all the components that you need so that you can interact with this particular canvas. All right, let's test it by saving it and click on the play button. And here you can see that I'm able to use the Ray Interactor to interact with the UI canvas. Now you might notice that you can use your Ray Interactor to interact with both 3D objects and the UI canvas. But what if you want to use your left controller to interact only with 3D objects and the Ray Interactor on your right controller only with UI canvas? Well, that's possible and I'll show you how that's done. Open the child objects of OVR Camera Rig Select the Ray controller under left controller and right controller and add a component called as tag set filter. Select the Ray controller under left controller and in the option parameter, we'll add a required tag as 3D object and exclude tag as UI canvas. Now we'll do the opposite for the Ray interactor under the right controller. So here the required tag is going to be UI canvas and the exclude tag is going to be 3D object. Then select the 3D object, open its child, select the Ray interaction and in here, we need to add the component called as tag set. And we'll set this tag as 3D object. Make sure that the string entered here is same as the string that we have added in the optional. So both of the string have to be the same. Next, select the canvas, open its child object, select the ray interaction, add the component called as tag set. And in here, we want to set the tag as UI canvas. All right, so now you can save the scene, press play and test it out. And here I should be able to interact with the 3D object only with my left controller, which I am able to do here. And when I try it with my right, it's still interacting, but it should not. And I know exactly why this is happening. And that's because I forgot to reference the set filter. So to reference it, select the controller ray interactors. And inside the ray interactor, inside optionals, we have an option to add the interactable filter. So click on the plus symbol here. Select the tag set filter, drag and drop it in here and do the same for the right controller as well. All right, so now if we save it and test it once again, you can see that I'm able to interact the 3D object with my left controller, but with my right controller, I'm not. Sorry, the Ray Interactor is just passing through and it is uh, interacting with the UI canvas and my left controller Ray Interactor, I'm not able to interact with the UI canvas. So this is how you'll be able to mask your Ray Interactors. Now, wouldn't it be cool if you could see the Ray Interactors only when there's an object that you could interact with? Well, we can implement this in a single click. Open the child object of the controller Ray Interactor. Open the visuals, select the controller Ray and check the parameter for hide when no interactable. Do the same for the right controller Interactor as well. All right, so now if we save the scene, and test it for the last time. You can see that to begin with, the controller does not have any ray interactor. However, if I point my right controller towards the canvas, the ray interactor appears. And the same thing for the left controller as well. The ray interactor appears only when I point it towards the 3D object. And that's it for this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one.